So I live in Grace House, uh, ran by Stuart and Caroline Johnson. I ended up living here because I had been back in rehab and unfortunately I didn't complete it. So I left rehab and I had nowhere to live. You take drugs and alcohol to just numb the pain, but then drugs and alcohol take you down a very dark path and they just strip everything from you. So for me, I had quite a traumatic childhood. By the time I was 11, I'd moved 11 times and I didn't know my dad. Didn't see a picture of him until I was 18. Got bullied everywhere I went. And then a lot of like sexual abuse and rape. I was pretty messed up from the age of 11, really. Um, struggling with mental illness, self-harm, my first suicide attempt. By the time I was age 12, I was um, into prostitution. Not for money, but for drugs and alcohol. Because of the abuse, I didn't have any self-worth or value. And I didn't, you know, I didn't have any care for my life or where I was going. So I've been in the process of going in and out of rehab from the age of 19. That's where I became a Christian and gave my heart to Jesus literally realised that I could have a life of freedom and I could be healed from everything and that God could use me to help others. And that's been a journey. Gradually, it's like with an onion, God just does layer by layer of healing and stripping away addictions and habits. And it's a continual journey, but I'm very thankful for God choosing me and for, the, for not giving up on me, for God speaks life over me and he has always kept me alive and never forsaken me or given up on me. So I was on a mate's sofa and I came and met Caroline and we did an interview and they took me in pretty fast. So yeah, it's a beautiful home. Caroline and Stuart are lovely and they really care about us and love us. You have independence, but you have that support. Like for me, I had my own flat in Glasgow before I ended up in rehab and it didn't go well because I ended up back in addiction, hence being back in rehab. So for me, it's been a, a good, you know, place of having that independence, but having that support and that love. And we also do counselling as well, paid for by Grace House. It's a loving home. And my little dog is here with me as well. She's a little masm. My heart definitely is for the homeless, the addicts, the prostitutes. I just have so much love in my heart for broken people because of how broken I was. So for me, getting to love people that are, you know, really struggling is the best feeling in the world, getting to see them you know, find Jesus, accept Jesus, oh, it's amazing. So for me, I'm very passionate about people. Yeah, if it's a stirring in your heart, then invest in green pastures or set up a home, you know, a men's home or a woman's home um, or whatever it is you feel called to do because you'll be making the difference and you could be saving people's lives. Just do it and God will be with you.